and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over what you need to be doing right now in Madden 20 Ultimate Team. Now, I haven't done any of these videos in a little bit. I've done a coin one, but I haven't done like an overall what to be doing. So, obviously, we have a big week ahead of us. If I'm not mistaken, this week should be the special stream for the Thanksgiving promo. It's crazy, right? I feel like just yesterday we were getting the special stream for the most feared promo and I just started. And here we are a month later. I literally feel like I just finished the most feared promo and the most and the Thanksgiving promo is already starting. Time is flying right now, guys. So with the special stream coming this week, quite possibly a house rules coming this week, some new content, some new legends. There's going to be a fun week out of us, especially with the special stream. And then hopefully if all folds right, probably honestly... It could actually no the promo could even start this week it could start this friday or i mean most promos start on fridays right so it, it kind of has to start this friday because this friday will be like the 15th which makes sense for a promo drop if they wait for next week it'll be like the 21st which is going to be really behind like schedule like they'll have to squeeze in a whole promo into one week but in my opinion with it starting this week that's pretty awesome i'm pretty excited guys so i'm gonna go over a few things i'm gonna be doing before the most of the harvest promo starts and what to be expecting this week so First, guys, before we get into the video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that noty bell, boys, come join the family. I appreciate all you guys who come out on Sundays, I appreciate all you guys who come join the family, who watch on Sunday. So if you're watching on Sunday, guys, comment down below Sunday gang, comment down below noty gang, whatever you guys want to do. And also, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, smash the like button for all the Sunday viewers. Now, guys, first thing I'm going to be doing, right, real quick, I just want to get this out there because I'm one of those who forget to do this kind of crap, and it really gets to me because I always screw myself. Like, Madden Ultimate Team 10, I didn't get a free player. I always forget. I'm so busy recording videos. That, like, you know what it is? I play Madden all day recording videos. So when I'm done recording videos, I'm like, ah, I'm done with Madden for the day. Like, I'm done. Like, I, I did my thing. I did. I, or I play some Weekend League. I'm chilling. And then I realize I completely forgot to do my solos. I don't, I don't know why. I forget all the time. But it is what it is. Guys, Team of the Week solo. Make sure you're playing. I cannot stress this enough. This is so important because you're not... The way I regretted my month 10 player is going to be the way you regret when you don't get your Team of the Year player. Your team of the year, Mahomes. Your team of the year, Tyreek Kill. Your team of the year, Saquon Barkley. I'm telling you, you're going to want to do this. Typically, every year, if you collect every collectible, you don't. You can miss some, by the way. But that, don't encourage it. If you miss like two, I think you're still fine. I miss two, but you can usually miss up to two or three because they give you makeups. It is a year long thing. So make sure that you're doing it. Typically, it's a collection. You put them all in, and you get one auctionable team of the year player, which means that you can sell them. I got Tyreek Kill last year. He went for a million coins, and honestly, it was pretty amazing that we were able to get those players. So make sure that you're doing that and next what you guys want to be doing going down below and checking your solos now for me i still have some solos to play are you really okay guys i honestly you want to be finishing up all solos this week before the prick promo comes out because thanksgiving typically comes with a ton of promos there's going to be the turkey day the like backyard games like i'm gonna give you guys some older ones last year was multiple things that you could be doing like i was saying with all the amount of solos that you could potentially be playing during that it's gonna be very time consuming and then if the blitz starts you're gonna have to be worrying about the blitz solos maybe code breakers playing through all that it's going to be a very very tenuous like or is that the word strenuous time we're gonna be playing a lot of solos especially with work and family if you have anything to be doing now we just have to do it there's not much to do in madden at all and then if there's a house rule that drops too that's gonna be time consuming i personally have to still do my mud hero solos i need my free mud hero player i'm so behind on that guys it kind of sucks i really wish i got that done when the time was but I was a little busy during that time, never got around to solos, but I gotta get I gotta get that done. But like I said, for Thanksgiving, there's gonna be like maybe the day of Thanksgiving solos, gonna be blitz solos, blitz challenges, codes, riddles, uh, backyard games, special solos. There was like a whole sequence last year of just 40 solos, collecting collectibles, house rolls. Gonna be so much things to do that you guys wanna be getting things done now. And now as far as your team goes and maybe working the market right now, man, I don't know, I can't really recommend doing too much. Like if you the market's too low to where I say like sell now. But we all know with Thanksgiving coming, the market's probably going to take a hit. But people tip typically tend to pre-sell for promos. So pretty much with Thanksgiving coming up, people might have already started selling cards, which is why the market might be so cheap. But then once if Thanksgiving drops banger stuff, then it's going to go down even more. So it really comes down to, do you think it's worth making a little extra coins to lose a team for now? Comes down to you on that one. Now next, guys, definitely be building your coin stack. I've been telling you guys that. The only way at this point, like at this point with this little amount of time to build your coin stack, real quick, the quickest way is to get a little shot in the armor to so just level up. You guys get your level up done to level 70. That's the best way to do it. Or play play this weekend league. I'm currently playing it. I got to get my coin stack up. I want to go into Thanksgiving with at least a little bit over a million coins. That should be enough to do a master set. 
and then well obviously the master set doesn't need that much coins but to do initial the initial master you need that many coins and then from there you can sell back the master and get back like 500k and then it's really only costing 500 but you need the initial million up front just about depending on how expensive the set is i can't honestly tell you because this price has been a little different this year than years past but you definitely want to get the coin stack up and playing your weekend league definitely getting all your things done last your level of grind your solo should be getting done this week there's not much to do and with the way the house rule uh pattern's been it should be this week but maybe they skip it this week so they could drop it for the harvest promo i'm not sure how they're gonna go about that but it's it, it, the pattern connects like the way it has every other week it should be this week i don't know what they'd give us for free i mean a redux player a team of the week player again would be really really cool i don't know if they actually do that maybe a, imagine a mutt 10 player that'd be so cool but they, they would never they would never in a million years give us that that's way too much coin especially with everyone already like having one everyone would be rocking ltds but i'm excited hopefully house does come out this tuesday give you something to do but if it does not you guys have plenty of time when thanksgiving drops guys there's going to be so much to do make sure you're getting all your stuff done now don't wait should you be opening up packs now no save your coin everyone's always like should i be opening up packs right now definitely save your coins guys go and go through your team like i like to thin the herd before promos go through your team see what you don't really need that you don't want to carry into the next promo so for me right pat tillman all oh, this whole row i'm carrying to the next promo all starters on my team this right here i'll probably quick sell on dominic Sue. the only guy that i might consider moving on from in this promo maybe saquon barkley now it's not because he's bad but his speed's only a 90 and i know that this everyone's getting faster day by day and I know, I know they're going to drop a new running back. If The only way, though, if they drop a Barry Sanders, a LaDainian Tomlinson, or a Christian McCaffrey. The only three guys. But I'll still start him. He'll be, he'll be my bench guy. So I don't have to thin the herd on him. I would just replace him and put him as a backup that starts all the time. But no one really on my team, the way I construct my team, like I don't just pick up those Saturday Legend drops just because they look good right now. I always pick up guys that I think I can rock with for a while. There's not one guy on my team besides maybe like Bruce Matthews I can move on from. Maybe Lamar Jackson is a guy. Like Lamar Jackson is a guy, but again, I can't move on from any of these guys until the new ones come out. Because if I do, I don't have a quarterback. So like, I, there's a lot of things I can't do yet. But there's some guys that I want to move on from, and I think it's time. But it's really like Lamar Jackson, maybe, and Dominic Sue quick so But there's not much. Bruce Matthews. So go through your binder, feel your team out. Is there anything that you think you should thin the herd on that like you want to get coins back for? Because like, if let's say you have a quarter, um, what's a good example? Like a wide receiver right now. It's like a 92 overall. He's pretty good right now. But you don't really care for him too much. You don't maybe pass the ball that much. And he goes to like 300k. And you know that in the next promo, he's going to come down and value quite a bit. And there's going to be a new wide receiver. So that's why I would recommend you guys go ahead and you take advantage of that. And you go and you make sure that you get your coin value for them while you still have the time. Because obviously, if you're not going to use them, right? For me, like Tyree Kill, although he's probably going to go down in value, I start him. He's great. I'm going to keep him on my team probably all year. So for that reason alone, I really don't need to go around trying to get value back because I'm going to buy him right back anyways. And I, I hate selling and then buying back. It's kind of, it gets kind of tedious, especially with the whole power-up system. Back in the Madden days, back in the old times, it was great to do stuff like that because it was so simple. It was sell, buy, sell, buy. No coming. But now I got to take the chemistries off. I take the abilities off. Got to retrain him up. He's powered up ready. Then I got to take the lockdown off so he can be uh, sold. Got to take the sprinter or whatever off. It becomes such a to-do. I mean, now you can just take him out of the power-up. Obviously, but then you got these just charge you last year. It's so tedious. And then if, again, if then they don't sell, you got to put them back in. Maybe that's just me being lazy. I'm not the biggest fan of it. But yeah, make sure you're thinning the herd. Make sure you're getting what you deserve, what you need for your next set of promo. Me, I'm going for a quarterback, a running back, and a new Lawrence Taylor. But the only thing that's going to really affect my team will be the quarterback. Other than that, nothing's going to be sold. I have nothing that I really need to sell, sell, like, urgently. Besides, like I said, quarterback. Quarterback's the only guy that will, if I get a new quarterback, he's, there's no backup quarterback. You just sell him. The running back will play backup. Lawrence Taylor's going to get powered up even further. So that pretty much concludes this video, guys. That's pretty much exactly what I have to get across to you guys. I mean, it was good. Here we got it. Okay, just making sure. Pretty much. Get your levels done. Get all your solos done before the we're mad in limbo right now. Don't have much going on. Make sure you're getting all that done. Prepare for a potential house rules and a special stream this week. I'm not sure if they'll do house rules this week, guys. You guys probably know more than I do on that if they, they if you watch the stream or something today. Also, real quick, guys, if you do want to see a harvest promo predictions video sometime later this week before the special streams, let me know down below if you guys want to see that or I could just wait for the special stream and give you guys the actual info. Um, yeah, I could probably post it like Tuesday or Wednesday around there before stream and give you guys my predictions on players, sets, stuff. I've kind of went over that a lot in these kind of videos, but if you guys do want to see that, just make sure you're commenting down below so I have an idea. I'd imagine that some of you guys would want to see it, maybe not. If you want to wait, just comment down below. Let me know because I have a pretty, I have a good amount of info on this, but I feel like you guys might have heard enough throughout videos, but obviously if you don't watch every video, you wouldn't entirely know all the info. But we'll know more about that Tuesday. 
And that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell. Make sure to comment down below. Say what's up. Comment noti gang, Sunday gang. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next time. Peace.